It is Thursday, March 31st, 2022. We're finished with March going into April. Tomorrow is April 1st. Be careful. Don't fall into any April Fool's jokes. Now, the U.S. Uh, stock futures, the Dow futures are up 14 points. S&P 500 is up 7 and NASDAQ is up 71. World markets in Japan, it is, uh, is negative, negative 0 0.7. China is negative 0 0.4. Uh, Hong Kong is negative 0 0.8, England is negative 0 0.03, Germany is negative 0 0.17, and out of everyone, France is up 2.64. France has been up 5, 6 days straight now. French uh, are doing very, very well. They got their croissants in the mornings with their coffees. So WTI crude oil is negative 5.4% right now at $101.95. Still, it's still over 100 bucks. Brent crude oil is still over 106. Natural gas is down to 552, negative 1.5 percent, and gold is negative 0.48 percent down. But someone asked me about a stock, an oil stock yesterday. Should I still hold and so on? It was an oil stock that I bought. It was uh, the the company CP ticker symbol CPG Crescent Point uh, Energy. My my answer is this: it depends on what oil stock you own. And every oil company can handle a certain price in the WTI crude oil, right? There are companies that say, well, we're fine as long as it goes over, as long as the price stays over 50 or over 30. CPG can, can be perfectly fine as long as the WTI crude oil is over 80 bucks. So even though the, the oil stocks might be going down slightly because the WTI crude oil, for example, is going downwards. In the end, though, over if it stays over $80, $80 a barrel, well, their earnings are going to be awesome. And so by the end of 2022, these oil stocks will be worth more. Now, talking about oil, Russian oil tankers have vanished from tracking systems, says Yahoo Finance. Someone is buying that crude oil and we don't know who. Yes, if the Russian oil tankers have vanished from the tracking systems, they vanish for a reason because they don't want you to know where they are. And that means they're, they are transporting uh, oil, right? But there's no way we don't know. That we don't know, I don't buy that that's so stupid whatever happened to satellite companies there's so many companies on the stock market that are uh, involved in satellite imaging and they there's one i forget which one it is what it's called palantir had invested in it and they claim that they can tell they can show satellite images in real life to uh to the farmers and help them with their crop fields so you have all these technologies and you don't you can't you can't see where the ships are going it's so dumb Judge approves $18 million Activision settlement with EEOC. Elon Musk doesn't like backing down on Twitter or in court. So the Tesla CEO has gone on on the offense with the SEC, the later in the series of a combative legal uh, maneuvers. Waymo to send driverless cars through San Francisco. We have a viewer from San Francisco. You will soon have Chinese Waymo, uh, uh, Waymo I'm sorry, Waymo drive, uh, driverless vehicles. CVS to pay $484 million to settle opioid, opioid case in Florida, and I killed that word too. Aircap, we talked about this stock, which is a really great company, and it has some of its uh, jets trapped in Russia, and I can't get them out. Well, they submitted a $3.5 billion insurance claim on those jets, so they'll be fine. VIP Shop announces a $1 billion share repurchase program, so they're going to buy back $1 billion worth of shares. Epson Robots to demonstrate all-in-one automation solutions at ATX West 2022. Epson is a really great company. Well, they used to be one of the greatest printing companies in the world. And then printers kind of went sort of out of style, let's say. And Epson really pretty much remained stuck uh, as far as the stock is concerned. But now they're into robotics. And I think that that stock will have a really great future. And that's just my opinion, of course. And it's so cheap, so cheap. If I remember correctly, I might be wrong. But if I remember correctly, it was trading like nine or 12 bucks. Tesla said to be opening up supercharging network to all EV owners in the UK. Doesn't matter if you have a Tesla vehicle or not. Aurora Mobile, here we go again. This stock is a stock that pops up in my pre-market updates once a week once every 10 days and always for great news and again it's a stock that i never buy but i always see it popping up with great news it's at one dollar something right now and i'm willing to bet it might get near to two dollars today you know don't trade according to my opinion this is just an opinion uh, aurora mobile officially selected as a member of china's metaverse industry committee jg is the ticket symbol 
China's Baidu is exploring options after a U.S. delisting risk. So here we go. The, the U.S. delisting uh, risks surface again. Why Russia's invasion of Ukraine could spark a NATO defense spending spree. Biden planning to tap oil reserves to control gas prices. And Kramer on his mad money show, which is not something I would take. His, I would not recommend that you really take his advice always seriously or most of the time seriously because a lot of times I notice whatever he tells people on his show to buy ends up being a disaster down the road um, and not long down the road but he does say now that everybody needs to go along on Hertz I mean he might maybe he's right maybe I don't know but I would have to look at it and make my own decision because maybe maybe because of the summer season coming up rental rental cars you know and so on going up and Lufthansa CEO says all options are open on ITA equity stake Lufthansa is a German airline Tesla to extend the production halt at Shanghai plant for one more day UiPath P-A-T-H is the ticker symbol the UiPath stock sinks as revenue outlook uh, is below forecast Baidu stock drops after US regulars flag a delisting risk which is wow, unbelievable. This is going to probably cause Neo to fall today. The Fed finally began raising interest rates. KKR stock, which is an amazing stock to hold for the long term. Stunning. One of the best long term stocks you can hold. I talked about it and explained that in my uh, Patreon channel. Uh, KKR stock is a good bet in a market no one really understands. Very true. FedEx wants autonomous trucks. And uh, according to Barron's, there's some, some companies you can look at. Uh, Tesla or XPO or Google and many others um, that are into the autonomous industry. PVH shares are getting crushed. Here's what's hurting the retailers. FDS is the ticket symbol. iPhone has announced that it is unlikely to feature under screen touch ID until 2025. GameStop chairman Ryan Cohen asks if short sellers or overpriced consultants are more reprehensible. Bitcoin bull Kathy Wood scoops up $18.9 million worth of shares in this crypto exchange. And so she bought more, uh, she bought 96,591 shares of Coinbase. No surprise, she's been buying up Coinbase for a while. And is Neo entering the smart form business? Yes, it is. Now, some analyst ratings Piper Sandler maintains overweight on Expensify, lowers the price target to $25. EXFY is the ticker symbol. Needham maintains buy on uh, True Leave Cannabis, lowers the price target to 47. SVB Lyric maintains outperform on Accelera Health, lowers price target to $9. SVB Lyric maintains outperform on Agilon Health, raises the price target to 33. AGL is the ticker symbol. Telsley Advisory Group maintains outperform on Arhas, raises the price target to $12. ARHS is the ticker symbol. SVB Lyric maintains market perform on uh, Freesia, if I pronounce that right, I killed that word too. Uh, lowers the price target to $29. PHR is the ticket symbol. Piper Sandler maintains overweight on Braze, lowers price target to $65. Deutsche Bank initiates coverage on the ESS Tech with hold rating, announces a price target of $7. Piper Sandler initiates a coverage on Travery Therapeutics with overweight rating, announces a price target of $42. Piper Sandler initiates coverage on Affirmed with overweight rating, announces price target of $7, AFMD is the ticket symbol, and Piper Sandler downgrades Akibia Therapeutics to neutral lowers the price target to $2. Now we also have more uh, from Piper Sandler, they maintain neutral on Vroom, lower the price target to $3.13, they maintain overweight on Shift Technologies and they lower the price target to $10, SFT is the ticket symbol. They maintain neutral on Carvana, lower the price target to $130. They maintain neutral on Car Gurus, to raise the price target to $40. Basically, they're neutral on all companies that are selling used cars. They maintain overweight on ACV auctions, lowers the price target to $21. ACVA is the ticket symbol. Overweight on Infinity Pharmaceuticals, lowers price target to $4. Outperform on Bristol Myers Squibb, raise price target to $81. BMO Capital maintains outperform on Dave and Buster's Enter, raise price target to $62. BMO Capital maintains outperform on Solar Edge Technologies, raise price target to $405. I, I like how BMO Capital gives uh, outperform ratings or downgrades or upgrade stocks, right? At the same time, though, BM BMO Capital has admitted that they are shorting the uh, US stock market and have uh, pulled out of owning share. I don't know, whatever. Uh, Bank of America Securities maintains buy on RH, lowers the price target to 650. 
and Bank of America Securities maintains a buy on Lululemon raised the price target to $450. Some other news, Ukrainian president uh, urges Dutch parliament to stop trade with Russia. The European Union has pledged to do whatever it takes to rebuild solar energy. Good luck with that. Now, five stocks to watch for uh, today is Alliance Incorporation WBA to report quarterly earnings of $1.38 per share on revenue of $33.36 billion before the opening bell. Walsh, uh, Walgreens shares gained 0.2% to $47.55 in the after hours. UiPath, obviously we said it's, uh, is uh, sinking. And U.S. Well Service Corporation, which is USWS, uh, posted a loss for its fourth quarter while sales missed estimates. Uh, U.S. Well Services share dropped 7.4% already. Also, Acutus Medical, which is AFIB, is the ticket, reported a wider than expected loss for its fourth quarter and issued week Q1 sales guidance, so expect that to fall. It's already down 12%. With that being said, that's your pre-market update. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. I wish you a great day and a good trading day. Take care, everyone.